in the How Far Away Is It video book, we built the cosmic distance ladder step by step, from direct measurement to parallax to standard candles, including CFIAT variables and Type 1A supernovae up to redshift. But as late as the early 1900s, CFIAT variable stars were not considered a standard candle. So, there was no calibrating rung on the ladder to establish the distances to Type 1A supernova. There was no good way to know how far away celestial objects were beyond our Milky Way galaxy. Most stars have some variability in their luminosity. Even our Sun varies on an 11-year cycle of sunspots. But Cepheid variability is caused by regular pulsation in the outer layers of the star. In the late 19th and early 20th century, Henrietta Leavitt, an American astronomer, worked meticulously to plot Cepheid luminosity cycle periods against luminosity. She found that the period of these stars varied in proportion to their absolute brightness. Levitt's discovery made Cepheid stars, true standard candles, and changed the world of astronomy forever. For example, it was Edwin Hubble's 1923 discovery of a Cepheid variable in the Andromeda cloud that proved Andromeda was its own galaxy two and a half million light years away from our Milky Way galaxy. For 30 years now, the Hubble Space Telescope has been measuring Cepheid variables to establish the Hubble constant for the universe's current expansion rate. The Webb Space Telescope is now being used to double-check the Hubble results. Its new observations include five host galaxies with eight Type 1a supernovae containing a total of 1,000 Cepheids. NGC 5468, 130 million light years away, is one of them. It's the farthest galaxy where Cepheids have been well measured. This covers the entire range of the Cepheid rung on the cosmic distance ladder. These web observations verify the accuracy of the earlier Hubble measurements.